There is a wide variety of languages spoken throughout Asia, comprising different language families and some unrelated isolates. The major language families spoken on the continent include Altaic, Austroasiatic, Austronesian, Caucasian, Dravidian, Indo-European, Afroasiatic, Siberian, Sino-Tibetan and Thai Kadai. They usually have a long tradition of writing, but not always. Language groups The major families in terms of numbers are Indo-European and Dravidian in South Asia and Sino-Tibetan in East Asia. Several other families are regionally dominant. Sino-Tibetan Sino-Tibetan includes Chinese, Tibetan, Burmese, Karen and numerous languages of the Tibetan Plateau, Southern China, Burma, and Northeast India. Indo-European The Indo-European languages are primarily represented by the Indo-Iranian branch. The family includes both Indic languages Hindi, Urdu, Bengali, Punjabi, Kashmiri, Marathi, Gujarati, Sinhalese and other languages spoken primarily in South Asia and Iranian Persian, Kurdish, Pashto, Balochi and other languages spoken primarily in Iran, Anatolia, Mesopotamia, Central Asia, the Caucasus and parts of South Asia. In addition, other branches of Indo-European spoken in Asia include the Slavic branch, which includes Russian in Siberia, Greek around the Black Sea, and Armenian, as well as extinct languages such as Hittite of Anatolia and Tocharian of Chinese Turkestan. Altaic families A number of smaller, but important language families spread across Central and Northern Asia have long been linked in an as yet unproven Altaic family. These are the Turkic, Mongolic, Tungusic, including Manchu, Koreanic, and Japonic languages. Speakers of the Turkish language, Anatolian Turks, are believed to have adopted the language, having instead originally spoken the Anatolian languages, an extinct group of languages belonging to the Indo-European family. Mon Khmer The Mon Khmer languages, also known as Austroasiatic, are the oldest family in Asia. Languages given official status are Vietnamese and Khmer Cambodian. Kra Dai The Kra Dai languages, also known as Thai Kadai, are found in southern China, northeast India and southeast Asia. Languages given official status are Thai, Siamese, and Lao. Austronesian the Austronesian languages are widespread throughout maritime Southeast Asia, including major languages such as Fijian, Fiji, Tagalog, Philippines, and Malay, Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei. Javanese, Sundanese, and Madaris of Indonesia belong to this family as well. Dravidian the Dravidian languages of southern India and parts of Sri Lanka include Tamil, Kannada, Telugu, and Malayalam, while smaller languages such as Gandhi and Brawi are spoken in central India and Pakistan respectively. Afroasiatic the Afroasiatic languages, in older sources Hamido-Semitic, particularly its Semitic branch spoken in Western Asia. It includes Arabic, Hebrew and Aramaic, in addition to extinct languages such as Akkadian. The modern South Arabian languages contain a substratum influence from the Cushitic branch of Afroasiatic, which suggests that Cushitic speakers originally inhabited the Arabian Peninsula alongside Semitic speakers. Siberian families Besides the Altaic families already mentioned, of which Tungusic is today a minor family of Siberia, there are a number of small language families and isolates spoken across northern Asia. These include the Uralic languages of western Siberia, better known for Hungarian and Finnish in Europe, the Yenisean languages linked to Turkic and to the Athabascan languages of North America, Yukagir, Nivik of Sakhalin, Ainu of northern Japan, Chukotko Kamchatkan in easternmost Siberia, and, just barely, Eskimo Aleut. Some linguists have noted that the Koreanic languages share more similarities with the Paleo-Siberian languages than with the Altaic languages. The extinct Ruan Ruan language of Mongolia is unclassified, and does not show genetic relationships with any other known language family. 
Caucasian families Three small families are spoken in the Caucasus, Kartvelian languages, such as Georgian, Northeast Caucasian, Dagestanian languages, such as Chechen, and Northwest Caucasian, such as Circassian. The latter two may be related to each other. The extinct hurro urartian languages may be related as well. Small families of Southern Asia Although dominated by major languages and families, there are a number of minor families and isolates in South Asia and Southeast Asia. From west to east, these include, extinct languages of the Fertile Crescent such as Sumerian, Elamite, and Proto-Euphratian extinct languages of South Asia, the unclassified Harappan language small language families and isolates of the Indian subcontinent, Barushaski, Kusunda, and Nihali. The Veda language of Sri Lanka is likely an isolate that has mixed with Sinhalese, the two Andamanese language families, Great Andamanese and Ongan, Sentinelese remains undocumented to date, and hence unclassified, isolates and languages with isolate substrata of Southeast Asia, Kanaboy, Engano, and the Philippine Negrito languages Manide and Umari Dumagat language isolates and independent language families in Arunachal, Dagaro, Rusish, including the Midji languages, Midzu, Peroik, Sianjik, and Ko Bwa Hmong Min, Miao Yao, scattered across southern China and Southeast Asia several Papuan families of the Central and Eastern Malay Archipelago, languages of Halmahera, East Timor, and the extinct Tambora of Sumbawa. Numerous additional families are spoken in Indonesian New Guinea, but this lies outside the scope of an article on Asian languages. Creoles and Pigeons The eponymous Pigeon business language developed with European trade in China. Of the many Creoles to have developed, the most spoken today are Chavacano, a Spanish-based Creole of the Philippines, and various Malay-based Creoles such as Manado Malay influenced by Portuguese. A very well-known Portuguese-based Creole is the Christing, which is spoken in Malacca, a city-state in Malaysia. Sign languages A number of sign languages are spoken throughout Asia. These include the Japanese Sign Language family, Chinese Sign Language, Indo-Pakistani Sign Language, as well as a number of small indigenous sign languages of countries such as Nepal, Thailand, and Vietnam. Many official sign languages are part of the French Sign Language family. Official languages Asia and Europe are the only two continents where most countries use native languages as their official languages, though English is also widespread. See also Asian studies Asianic languages East Asian languages Languages of South Asia List of extinct languages of Asia Classification schemes for Southeast Asian languages References